welcome back. It's so good to have you here as always. I feel like having a little play time with you today. But while I do that, I'm really enjoying these little accessories, if I may call it. I'm just being a girly girl and enjoying my girly world where I have a few teddy bear audience sitting with us today. And I have my chamomile honey vanilla tea. That is my new addition to my evening routine. And this book that I'm still getting into that I'm going to prioritize as my read that I will be consuming over the next few months leading up to summer. Before I dive right in, the topic for today is called stress management and what are the top tools that the top celebrities, athletes and elites are doing right now in the world and how can you focus on implementing them yourself? Because when it comes to stress, it really is something we can kind of all share some sort of, I don't want to say misery loves company, but we can have things in common because at some point of time in someone's life, there's a stress that might come up and it could be health related, it could be career related, it could be relationship related, it could be a various number of things. So with that being said, I want to share with you my five top stress busting strategies and how you can work on managing your stress better to have a more healthy and fulfilling life. So you can put me on in the background while you are meal prepping or you can sit down and watch me and as we go through this together. What's the first one? Stress busting strategies. Numero uno, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, cinco, seis. I have a very unique personality, but you know that, that's why you're here. So the first one is introducing mindfulness and meditation so when it comes to meditation a lot of people i've spoken to have said annie it's so hard because it brings up so many uncomfortable emotions and that is the fact it does bring up a lot of uncomfortable emotions because what meditation does is it helps us to face ourselves it helps us to sit with ourselves and breathe through the perceived story that has been stressing us out so if we think about stress like this, what we can think about is we are in our minds and all of the things that we stress about are stories or movies in clouds away from our mind. And when we get so wrapped up in one of those movies, we take it on and then we begin to show symptoms of all of those stress-related byproducts. And so the main component with meditation is breathing is being able to disconnect the movie from the daily required actions to maintain a healthy habit and routine. This is easier said than done, but when it comes to breath work and meditation and setting that space up in your home so that you can have that prioritization for yourself, that is one of the key components to hacking your next level of being able to better manage your stress. This is a very challenging, um, but when it comes to that meditation, a small start could be as simple as you allocate five minutes before you get to bed to really wind down with some audios. You can also do a mindset breath work version. So it depends if you wanna just listen in to something or if you want to breathe through something, or if you want to do a body scan to bring awareness into your body and out of your mind. Because that's what usually happens when we get caught up in our minds. It's a reminder for us to move into our bodies to center ourselves, to be able to manage the stress. And this is one of the hardest things of human evolution, but once we can master that in the process of mastery and human evolution, that is when new levels become unlocked for us in terms of emotional fulfillment and well-being through that stress management. So it's quite exciting really. Furthermore, okay, so let's say that we have meditation breath work. The ice baths are very popular as you may have heard or seen in health media. 
This fan is from one of my friends. Her mom has this swimsuit brand and her dad's an artist in the UK and it's very cool. So I just like it as this prop for today. But if you do have issues with heat, heat can really stress us out. So it's important to make sure your climate and temperature are as regulated as possible for you to feel more at ease in your environment. So when it comes to deep breathing, what I can do with you today, since you're here, if you want to do a little um, breath work with me, is I'll talk you through some of um, my favorite scans. We could do a little two minute version and help you to reconnect with yourself. So let's de-stress a little bit here together. If you want to get started in a comfortable seated position or laying down, you want to center yourself. The cool thing about my book, I forgot to tell everybody, but in Tropical Wellness Secrets, the story is strategically designed so that from start to finish, by the time you get to the end of the story, your chakras will be aligned. So it takes you through the root, then to the sacral, solar, um, heart, throat, um, eye, and then crown. And I thought that was pretty cool of an experience to have if you want to um, stay aligned in more homeostasis in terms of your energy for example so anyways let's come to a seated position then you want to create a good energy and vibe around you so hands could be on your knees or on your heart or you can just keep your hands together or pray a position which is up to you what's more comfortable you're gonna start by just closing your eyes, take a deep breath in, and as much oxygen as you can hold. You hold for as long as you can, maybe for a count of four, three, two, one, and slowly release. And you go again, cleansing breath in, suck up as much oxygen as possible while holding at the top, space out from your stress, focusing on that breath moving in and out, cleansing breaths in, and release, detoxing breaths out. So that's kind of how it goes in terms of deep belly breathing when you're in a stressful moment and you need to disconnect. These are some of the strategies and tools that will help you to get there. Doing breath work like this, choosing an audio to tap into, and finding more mindfulness when it comes to your meals, saying your prayers, grace before meals, blessing everything that you come into contact with or exchange energy with. And these are some of the fundamentals of stress management. Journaling is always going to be a prime, prime player in this game to either detox the negativity or set intentions for what you want to bring in in terms of how to manage or even just getting the clutter out of your mind in order for you to see before you take action. So these are the top five um, stress busting tips from me today and I look forward to chatting with you again soon. Thank you for sharing in this vibe with me. Thank you for your time, space and energy and I look forward to continuing this journey of getting to know each other and to evolving together in a healthy way. Just keeping the cool. You gotta keep cool. Stay cool.